I'm just gonna try. Chip her in. That might go in. Oh! That's what Brooks Kipka always says. Don't say it's gonna go in. I heard him say that once. I did, I did, I promise. Ask him. How on earth do you play Lotto Golf? It's a great question. We're splitting the golf bag up in two between us, so one of us will have a driver, one of us will have a putter. The way that we're gonna decide our clubs is by drawing it out of a hat. You could almost call it a lottery. Oh, well, it's like we're having a lottery. We're gonna do five each, and then there's gonna be one more club on the fourth tee box. I just want a wedge and maybe something off a tee, like a three word, a driver. The first club that I'm gonna be using is a nine iron. Nine iron. Not great. My first club, five iron. Brilliant. I use that all the time. Four iron. 58 degree. Seven iron. Jesus, where's this putter? Eight iron. 56 degree. Driver. Driver. I've got some distance. Hybrid. I've got some distance. All right, he's got some. My fifth club. Six, Six iron. iron. There's Need. no putter. No putter for the first three holes of the video. We're gonna do a bonus club draw on the fourth hole. Why did I stand up? It's a six hole match, stroke play. Let's get into the video. First hole of Lotto Golf. I, uh, I'm really happy that I drew the driver because we've got a 296 meter par four. So I'm gonna try to whack this down there as far as I can. Oh yeah, just kicked out left on them trees. Who would have thought? With my driver, I'm on the left hand side of the fairway and I hit some wood. I got a lucky members bounce. Mornington Golf Club. It's the fucking Mornington Golf Club. It's the fucking Mornington Golf Club. Uh, I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room first off. Yes, I do have a hole in my pants. Yes, that did happen when I striped a ball absolutely perfectly in the middle of the fairway on the last video, which was Step Brothers Golf. It's a par four. I'd usually hit driver straight up the middle, but I've got hybrid, which is fine too. Shot. Love it, I like Lotto Golf. So we've both got five clubs in our bag right now we can use. We're gonna be drawing a sixth club on the fourth hole of this challenge. We just looked at each other, realized how bad we are at golf and thought we needed more help. So we're gonna give each other a bonus ball, which will be one mulligan to use in the six holes. I was about to grab my pitching wedge and then I remembered I don't actually have my pitching wedge. I'm allowed to use my 58 or, I don't think my 58 degrees gonna get there. So I'm gonna hit an eight iron. <laughs> you didn't see that big woolly mammoth over there? So I thought because the ball was above my feet here, you know, I just thought it would go straight like a normal golf shot. So I've just hit it into that mammoth from Ice Age and I would like to use my bonus ball on the first hole. Really? Yep. Back to the trusty Srixons. Callaway, you disgust me. Unless you want to sponsor us and then you can do whatever you want to me. Bonus ball. Woo! And I'm going to aim a little bit more to the left this time. That's okay. Um, I'm there for two, so I'm happy. We're not gonna talk about the bonus ball. In my eyes, it never even existed. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this is about 45 degree angle sideways. So I'd normally like to use my pitching wedge, but all I've got is a, a nine iron to use. What a shot. Almost pin high. I might need to hit off 45 degree cliffs more often. I'm just gonna walk completely past there. There was never a ball that went in there. We're gonna forget that ever happened. So I do have my 58 degree and I need to get this really close because I don't have a putter. Oh, Let's go, that's huge for the program that. Let's see if I can make that putt with a, do I putt with the driver or like a five iron? I'm not sure. I've decided to do a little bump and run with a nine iron. Go. Nice mate. Don't mind that little right, par got, putt there. I went to go get my putter out. I forgot that we were playing this game. I think I'm gonna putt with a five iron. I think putting with a five iron's easier than putting with a 58 degree or a driver. We will find out. It's a little bit of a fun one. A little bit of an ankle breaker. Oh no. I mean, bogey golf, I take that with a full set of clubs. So, you know, I can't be mad with five. I've definitely got a knee wobbler here. I'm gonna be putting with my nine iron. Nice, in for bogey. Bogey each, on to hole number two. We've got a 228 meter par four. I'd probably usually drive this because the fairway is wide enough for my ridiculous slice or shank. <laughs> I'm being forced to play with a hybrid. I'm being forced to play smarter than I normally would. They're in danger. Oh, perfect, it just dropped down there. 230 meters, it's uphill but downwind. So I reckon I can get this near the green if I hit it good. Oh, mate. I mean, 
It's gone pretty far. Yeah, it's nowhere near the green, so I hit it up there, but I mean, I'll take that. It's down the middle of the fairway. I've gone about 50 meters with a hybrid. Pins way up there, about 160 meters uphill. Thankfully, I've got a four iron. Could be worse. I've got about 80 meters up the hill. I've got a nine iron in my hand. I think you're putting, sir. Putt, putt. Without a putter. I told you guys I was gonna drive the green. I didn't, but I'm in a good spot. I've got a wedge in my hand. I'm allowed a 58 degree. It's one of my five clubs. I really wanna put this close and give myself a nice little tap and birdie with a five iron. Not a tap in, but it's a look at it. I have a history on this channel of four putting with my irons. Let's try and not do that. A little left to right downhill chip in for a par. Good effort. Pretty happy with that. Let me go finish that off. Nice. Double bogey for me. I've got a birdie putt, which I'm ecstatic about. I'm less happy about the fact I have to hit it without a putter. But let me know in the comments if you think it's easier to putt with a driver or a five iron or a 58 degree wedge. My brain's confused and I'm just going for the one in the middle. Ooh. Who would have thought the five iron goes real far? <laughs> oh. Oh. Is it a par? Par. Oh, shot, mate. That was the best two putt of my life. Wrapped with the par, two holes in. I've got a two shot lead now. On to the next. Luckily I've got my driver because we're on a par five. But again, looking at this tee box, it's a tough shot. Trees all along the right and just an absolute Riverdale on the left hand side. That's where Dan just hooked his hybrid. That's usually where this club slices. Let's just give it a whack and hope we find it. Uh, I'm in the trees, but I'm down there. I'm looking forward to seeing what Dan does with his hybrid here. <laughs> Based on how my hybrid went on the last hole, that would have gone straight into the abyss there. So I'm actually going to be hitting a four iron, which thankfully the lottery got me. What a shot. It might be on the car path. All right, I'm actually middle of the fairway, which feels pretty good. Uh, it's a par five, so we've got a long way to go. I've decided to use the hybrid again. As I was about to swing on that, I realized that I'm on a big downslope with a hybrid but decided to stick with it like an absolute fool. Can I hit my eight iron about 100 meters that way? See what happens. I was standing over it about a punch it. I was like, you know what? Let's not change stance. Let's just try hook this around the trees. <laughs> um, and I did it. So that was pretty cool. I'm buzzing. 140 meters. So I got my seven iron, which is basically perfect. Hard to see, but that's a great shot. That might be pretty good, eh? Nice, mate. Wow, that felt good. Wowee. 90 meters to the middle of the green. My 58, I don't think we'll get there into the wind, so I'm gonna have to hit an eight iron. So hopefully I can get maybe a 58 degree there and, and chip it close, so I've gotta tap in with my iron. This is our last hole without a putter because the putter is going to be drawn by one of us on the fourth hole and the other one will get the last club remaining in the bag. Oh my God, you're so close. I mean, you'll probably three putt that with it and it's like, oh, and <laughs> what a shot. Uh, this is my birdie look. I've got my 58 degree. I'm just going to try chip her in, but close. That might go in. Oh. Got a bit aggressive with that call, but it would have been cool if it went in. That's what Brooks Kipka always says. Don't say it's gonna go in. I heard him say that once. I did, I did, I promise. Ask him. I'm gonna be putting with my hybrid this time. The 99 really didn't work for me. That's a great par. This is a par putt. Honestly, I'm just trying to get away from here with the two putt. It, it's really tough putting with these irons. Let me know, please let me know if it's easier with the driver. Or maybe I should just try it instead of asking you guys to help me out. I can't wait for five weeks time when YouTube comments tell me what's easier. Anyway, five iron, par putt. Oh, huge. Two pars for the boys. Par fives are easy. You only need five clubs, guys. You hit it here first. I'm three over par. Liam is one over par. Right, it's time for the Powerball. Oh. We each get a sixth club out of the lottery. We've got a pitching wedge left and a putter left. My God, that putter is going to be useful. This is huge. This is huge. We have got a putter. Yes! Liam got a pitching wedge. Hole four of lottery golf. We have got a, a dog leg par three. It's up here and like behind those trees to the left. 130 meters. I've got my seven iron, thankfully. Oh, 
Pretty sure that's not where the green is. Dan was quite smart there because it's a blind tee shot so he just hit it safely to where we know there's grass. I might be a bit more aggressive because I'm an idiot like that. I also realised Dan's still got his bonus ball and he's got a putter. So if you guys think this video is over because I've got a two shot lead, boy golly you are wrong. Stick around, hang out, find out, get some popcorn. This is going to be a tie. This is going to be a tasty, tidy three hole finish. We ended up actually in a decent position. It's quite impressive considering we didn't know where the hole was. I'm going to hit that 58 degree. I do have my pitching wedge in the bag. It's nice to have options now, but I've been hitting this one well all day. It's a terrible thing to say before you're about to hit it. Putting uphill, which is good because I've got an iron to putt with. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got my 56 degree in hand, short side, not much green to work with. I'm probably not going to go pin seeking here, I'm just going to try and get it middle of the green somewhere and I'll consider that a success. Yeah, be careful what you wish for kids. Says I'm not going pin seeking, rolls it right past the Yeah, <laughs> a little swing thought there. Hmm, should I go pin seeking? And then I went for it. Look what oh. I have. Whoa, look how smug he is walking on <laughs> in the green with that. Oh, show off. All right, I've got a par putt with a putter this time. Whoa. Round. Woo. Oh, it's getting windy. I wish I had a hat. I think I've answered my question. I like putting with a five iron now because I made it on the last hole. If you don't remember, go back about two minutes and watch that. There's a lot of golf left in that part. I went for that so aggressively. That's not smart. Could be giving up a shot here. Tidy. Can we zoom in in the post production of my back swing there? I went. So shanky. End result, there's no video on a scorecard. That's a bogey. We're on the fifth hole of the video now. I've still got a two shot lead, which I'm wrapped about. The last two greens, I've made some clutch putts with the five iron. He's still got his power ball, which he's holding on to. Interested when he's gonna bring that out. It's either driver or five iron on a par three, because it's 190 meters, but it's downhill. I could either try tap a driver, but I think I'm just gonna hit a nice five iron and, and be safe. A little bit concerned, there's a five year old child playing frisbee golf right next to the green. I don't think I can hit it that far, but I'm just gonna wait for him to finish his, his round. He's not very good though, so it's taking him a while. Wow. I think they're like plugged right next to the green. Very near where those people are walking. Thankfully I've got four iron. If I hit this well, this should be pretty close. Shot. But yeah, I'm right next to Liam's ball. That felt pretty good though. I'm down here, Liam's just behind me. Five meters off the green, using a 56 degree. Deep in the danger zone. Can he do it? Ooh. Ooh. I'd like to get this close because I think I've got a two putt coming with a five iron. Oh, that's nice. I'm happy with that. I think I've guaranteed myself a bogey and I've got to look at par. All right, I've got a par putt here. Bogey for me, Liam's got a par putt. Dan says five putt. All right. What? <laughs> Dan says Liam's got a par putt. Liam's got a five iron. He's a two putt here I'm happy with for a bogey. Going to the last hole with a two shot lead. Oh my gosh. This is my new putter. Maybe I should start putting left handed normally. <laughs> if you've watched the channel, you notice I putt right handed. Not very well. Little fun fact, I actually found out that my uncle met his wife here back in the day. This is where they met at the beautiful Mornington Golf Club. That's why we're here today. We're having a look around. We haven't seen anyone really. We haven't seen any birds and we haven't seen any birdies either, uh, if you will. So we've got a par four, 240 meters. I think I'm gonna be using my four iron. Shot. Oh no. A little bit of a slice there. I'm hoping it didn't go under that tree. I'm three shots down, so I need a miracle on this hole. Thankfully, I've got a putter on the green and I've still got a power ball to use, which gives me a re-hit whenever I want, so possible. I'm going to be a bit cheeky here and try to drive the green. Uh, long story short, I'm not going to get to the green, but I'm going to try to leather this thing as far as I can because I've got three shots to play with. I didn't really hit it very well and there was no left to right wind or if there was left to right wind, my right to left slice beat it. 
pretty proud of that. Do you know why there's 18 holes in golf? Apparently, there's 18 shots in a bottle of whiskey. So back in Scotland when they were inventing it, the, the guy used to have a shot a hole, and when the bottle was finished, he called time. So they made 18 holes. But yeah, fun fact for you, that's the reason there's 18 holes in golf. We're in a bit of trouble here, boys. I don't have a great shot at the green, but I've got my pitching wedge I can punch out. I'm opening the door here for Dan. I think I might have hit that a bit too far. Oh my gosh. Well, I thought this was all fairway. Oh, I'm up here. This is a pretty cool approach shot. Liam's down in that gorse, I'm pretty sure. If I can chip this onto the green and two putt, I may have a chance here. I've got a 56 degree in hand. You can see Liam's car right behind the green there. Wow. We could be in with a chance here. How can I show this on camera? This is Liam on, on like a cliff edge. I'm like, proper 60 degree angle. Oh. It's out, I'm not in the gorse. Difficult shot, uh, I've got that for my fourth shot. Dan's about to hit his third. I'm gonna have to play some good golf here to finish this match out with the win. If he makes that putt, and if I get a six here, we tie the game, which I really don't wanna do. I really wanna go up and down here for a bogey. Oh. Decent. It's not bad, it's down to Dan whether he can make a putt now to put the pressure on me. It's all come down to this. I've ended up with a birdie putt here. If this goes in, and Liam two putts, we tie the game. I've still got my power ball, which means I actually get two putts at this, which is gonna be very, very handy because this, this is a big long putt. And Liam's putting with an iron. I've got a somewhat of a chance here. That's a gimme for a par? Yeah, I'll give you that for par. All right, I've got one more putt of it. Criminal if you leave this one short, mate. I know, I was thinking in my head before that one, like, do not leave this short, there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> it's still really short. I'm gonna need Liam to three putt. <laughs> <laughs> I've given Dan every opportunity to tie up and win this match on this hole. So two putts with the five iron and I'm in. I've been putting well with it, but the pressure's on now. Well played, pal. It was a pleasure. Not a chore. Thanks so much for hanging around. Um, that was suspenseful. I thought Dan was going to make that putt at the end. It's been windy, it's been real, it's been fun, it's been real fun. We'll see you guys in the next one.